I'm really happy to see this outcome, you know, the first thing when I did this uh, event page, I thought, oh my gosh, I don't know if anyone's going to show up, but, you know, clearly you all proved me wrong, so that's awesome, you know, give yourself a pat on the back for that. So first off, I just want to make, make it known that we are here to honor the 49 victims in the Pulse Orlando shooting. You know, it's taken a toll on a community that's fought for acceptance and love, you know, and acceptance in this community for so long, and still to this day, a community is fighting, and I'm so happy to see that so many people support a community that really does, you know, comes to love and accept each other for really who they are. And for everyone to be here, you know, if you had told me four years ago when I was like 13 that this would happen, I would have told you, yeah, you're joking, you're crazy. You know, so I'm really happy to have everyone here tonight. I want to thank the committee, Mackenzie, Mr. Bailey, Megan, Erica, my sister Taylor. Um, who else do have? Alrighty, so I just want to make it known that I just want to ask everyone for their attendance to politely and respectfully refrain from dishonoring the dead by any negative comments of any nature. If you are here of any negative comments of any nature, we please do ask that you leave. And we'd also like to have Mr. Bailey start off with a prayer tonight, just to bring in a you know, good, positive vibe and everything. So I'm going to hand it over to him. Thank you, Timur. Um, I just wanted to say a prayer to invite God into this space uh, and help us heal. Um, so if you care to, uh, please bow your head with me. Dear God, we come before you tonight with uh, hearts really heavy and in need of healing. And we pray that you just fill this space and fill our hearts with your love and your healing spirit, Lord. Um, we really need you in these times. It's hard for us to understand your ways and why things happen the way they do. And so I just pray that you, uh, you fill us with your knowledge and your wisdom, that you just give everybody here an open heart and help us to heal, Lord. Um, help us to all come together in a spirit of community, a spirit of peace, and just help us to heal. Amen. Alrighty, thank you, Mr. Bailey, so much. Alrighty, so now we're going to have Megan perform a song before we start the vigil. so much. Let's give Megan a round of applause. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. Alrighty, so at this time, if anyone would like to come up and make any statements or, you know, do anything, that would be simply awesome. I know the first person that wanted to kick it off was Mackenzie. So Mackenzie, come on down. Okay, so I just want to talk a little bit about being an ally. Okay, you don't have to necessarily be a member of the LGBT community to support them. Okay, so that's what this speech that I wrote is about. While there has been an incredible progress made towards equality and fairness for people who are part of the LGBT community, we aren't there yet. We don't have full equality and it will not be reached without the support from straight allies. People just like you, people just like me. Hi everybody. Hi. I'm old school. I'm a spiritualist today but I was an activist yesterday. I'm 60 years old, okay? I go back to civil rights. I go back to the 1960s. All that was going on, and we won. And all of those haters went away. Well, we thought they died away, but apparently not. There's a new group. We have to do the same thing again. Not riot, not fight, but fight through legislation, fight through the way they're doing it, because 
They're using religion. You're not a religion. You're a people. Shine. Keep shining from now. And I'm going to do is I'm going to get together with them. And I can't see why we can't get a charter chapter of the Pride people here. Why well, we have enough? I've been to Pride festivals where there's 10,000, and I've been to Pride festivals where there's 10. She remembers that. Lake Havasu. We went there, like, well, there's five people here. <laughs> but they did it. They had a barbecue for 20 and let my two cents in, but hang in there. Don't quit. And please don't change who you want, because you're beautiful. Thank you. Thank you.
we'll acknowledge you at the voting meeting. <laughs> at a rather late time in my life, telling your parents at the age of seven, they have your day, you know, courage enough. I'm going to say that all of you come here show a lot of courage and comfort. For the victims, this could have been any one of us. Can I see a show of hands of how many have never made it to the That could have been any one of us because they fear, they, they see us as a very soft heart. Lastly, I want to say, I want to show hands for the people 30 and under. Not me, 30 and under. I appreciate this generation because you guys are making a change. You guys are exposed to gay and straight alliance clubs in high school and carried that. that uh, carried that to your adult lives. And it's very Thanks, Mark.
Thank you.